is yours, sir? I really want to hear from you right now. Well, well, first of all, Stephen A., don't be sitting there with that sad, little sad puppy dog look on your face, looking like Raleigh from Puppy Dog Pals. Because, look, for the last two weeks, all I've been hearing about is New York stand-up, it's orange and blue skies, but guess what? It's cloudy with a few icicles out there in New York right now because <laughs> Ice Trey showed up in New York City in his, in his construction outfit, okay? Steel toe boots and hard hat, and it was muddy. And he walked right into your house, the Madison Square Garden, where they had a sign that says, leave your shoes at the front door. But he walked right on in, right up, right up to Dolan Suite and kicked his shoes off like it was his house, kicking rocks and mud everywhere and laid on Dolan couch in his suite, twinkling his toes like this here, looking real comfortable. And by the way, can anybody, anybody find Spike Lee and check on him, please? I know he was tossing and turning all night. He's heading he toward Barclay. Morning, He's heading toward Barclay. Down, he probably walked, woke up this morning and walked down into his kitchen and he saw Clint Capella in there scrambling eggs and drinking Kool-Aid <laughs> like milk off a baby boy. You want some breath for Spike Lee? I mean, carry on. Carry on. Stand down, New York. Stand down, New York. New York, stand down. Carry the hell on. You know... <sighs> You know, I'm on the plane yesterday because um, obviously when it comes to the NBA, there's never a bigger story than LeBron James, or rarely is there a bigger story than LeBron James and him being on the brink of elimination. Um, I couldn't be at Madison Square Garden last night. I was in the air. Convenient. Um, you know, um, the plane that I was on, uh, it, had, it had a television, had live television, so I watched the game from start to finish. But I thought that, you know, when you have your cell phone, you know, it can't operate in the air. You know, you can't really hear anything. I am 30,000 feet in the air. And there's a text message that pops up on my phone. And it's a voice message via text. And somehow, some way, 30,000 feet in the air. That damn Kendrick Perkins is on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> that damn Kendrick Perkins <laughs> sent me a text while I'm in the air. You know what I'm saying? New York, stand down. Carry on. Then with that damn old man draw laugh. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I had to listen to while I was in the air. Now, I thought this was my brother. I thought that this man would show and showcase some level of compassion. It wasn't like the Knicks were going against the Boston Celtics or the Oklahoma City Thunder or somebody like that. They were going up against a team Kendrick Perkins ain't play for, but, uh, but all of a sudden, he became a resident ATL dude, you know? Nevertheless, it's a very devastating thing for me to endure right now. I imagine not much compared to Spike. And what makes it bad about my brother Spike, see, last week, I, I I was at Spike's office. We were chilling, you know what I'm saying? Clanking, you know, drinking some wine, chilling out. We were at the office, and it was right down the block from the Barclay Center. And we were like, damn the Barclay Center. We'll deal with that if the Knicks lose. But right mm -hmm. now, it's about the Knicks, okay? Right now, it's about the Knicks. And we were in his office in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, chilling. You understand what I'm saying? Chilling and having a good old time. And then this happened. This hurts. Y'all got me today. It's, it's, it's all right. It's okay. You One know, I, I can't say anything. Kendrick, you got me. Enjoy this moment, KP, because you had two bad oh, moments. I but I'm going to give you this one. I'm going to give you this one. You enjoy the moment because Trey, Trey is that dude. Trey is something special. He really is. He one really one is. thing I'll say is, Perk, you know, I, you know, the Knicks, whatever. I'm laughing today. But – New York stand down. One thing Molly brought up earlier, talking about how this season is a success for the Knicks. Stephen A. brought it up. You want to establish a healthy culture on your basketball team with some hardworking young players that you can show the rest of the NBA this is a healthy place to come and play. And now you're selling New York City to them.
So that has to be considered a success. And you can't say New York stand down or sit down. No, you say New York stand up. It has to be considered a success because it's already worked in Brooklyn. That's exactly what the Nets did. And Spike's heading toward Barclays. That's where you'll find Stephen A. That's where you'll find the rest of the city. And ultimately, by the end of these playoffs, the entire well, basketball world in New York for New York's real team, all, the Brooklyn Nets. Is Brooklyn in the house? All without wanted, a doubt. All we wanted was one first round series win. But I want to say this on a serious note, in light of what we were talking about earlier, black coaches and stuff like that. How about that Nate McMillan doing a hell of a job? Hell of a coach. Taking over for Lloyd Pierce and, 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 and filling in, going 27 and 11, getting them to the postseason as a top five seed, winning the first round, and it was a gentleman's sweep. I can't, I can't front. As far as I'm concerned, the New York Knicks only won a quarter and a half the entire series. Everything else belonged to the Atlanta Hawks, and that's in large part due to the coaching of mm -hmm. Nate McMillan who already has a contract extension. It just hasn't been announced. It's already done. Mm. He, will be the, he will be the coach for the foreseeable future for the Atlanta Hawks, and he damn well deserves it. To that point, Stephen A., since he took over, they went 31-12. Uh, and 12. That's the same record as the Sixers. Really, really impressive. Mm. Mm. Uh, Kendrick, anything else you wanted to get in here? Well, well, first of all, Max, Max, the word New York should never come out of your mouth. Not how you betrayed the city of New York never and turned betrayed. your never back that. on your Thank you. Thank that's, you. That's, that's never, the first never that. First. Second of all, hey, Pacers, Indiana, I wonder how y'all feeling today watching Nate McMillan do, do, do his thing with this Atlanta Hawks team after y'all fired them. reason. Carry good on. Point. I never wanted him in Indy anyway. I like him better in Atlanta. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.